Hi there, hope everyone has their Halloween costumes ready. Just an unrelated friendly reminder. Time to count down the top stories you might have missed. Number 5. Alien Covenant's Xenomorph has been given a new name. In an interview with BBC Radio 2, Michael Fassbender, who is set to reprise his role as David in the film, may have accidentally revealed the film's new alien monster creatures as Neomorphs. Expect to see Neomorphs aplenty August 4, 2017. Number 4. George Lucas isn't involved with Indiana Jones 5. David Coop, the screenwriter for the fifth film in the series, told Collider he's not working with Lucas. He's not, to my knowledge, involved with the story, adding, I've had no contact with him. Lucas contributed to the first four films, so this is a pretty big departure. I'm sure the giant digital ants, monkeys, and gophers will miss him. Indy 5 is set to arrive in July of 2019. Number 3, Ubisoft's The Division Update 1.4 added a bunch of tweaks to the game. Listed on The Division's official website, the update adds world tiers that control the level of enemy NPCs encountered and quality of the loot they drop. This will help players level up without heading into the dark zone or taking on incursions. For the full list of changes, click the link below. Number 2, in a bit of sad news, Turtle Rock Studios ended development on Evolve. It's always hard to leave one of our games behind, the studio said on their official forums, thanking everyone for their support. A tweet on the game's profile notes that 2K Games will be in charge of day-to-day -day operations as servers remain online. Turtle Rock held their final Evolve livestream on Thursday. And number one, J.J. Abrams' next sci-fi film, God Particle, reportedly takes place in the Cloverfield universe. The rap reports a source close to them says the movie will release next year following this year's 10 Cloverfield Lane, and a new entry is expected to be released annually. For the full list of cast involved, use the link below. And those are the stories you might have missed. Be sure to watch the rest of this week's Daily Fix episodes for even more news. Have yourselves a fantabulous weekend, and bye for now.